Hello everybody, I'm Levi, and welcome to the Summer 2018 update video. So, I am just now, as of like the last few hours, on summer break, and I've set up my work schedule so that I, although I will still be working a lot over the summer, it will still be limited to three days a week, so that leaves most of the next three months for me to have four days a week for whatever I want. And so I'm interested in getting much more involved in my content creation. And due to a recent Discord poll, we've come to the conclusion that I'm going to say everything that we have planned. Very little will be kept a secret. So if you are interested in seeing uh, content on the channel show up as a surprise, you might want to skip out on this video, but there is a lot planned. My list here is like 30 or 40 games, so, and not just games, there's other things on there. So yeah, let's get into what I have planned for this summer. So as you may know, I've been much less active on YouTube recently. I've primarily moved over to Twitch for my content. And that isn't necessarily because I prefer making Twitch content. I did not ever really want to stop with YouTube content, because I still really enjoy a lot of the aspects of that. The reason I've been doing Twitch most recently is because, well, in college, it's much easier to just say, I have this time frame, let's make content with it, let's do something fun with it. And uh, editing in with YouTube can seem to be it, it kind of comes off as additional work and not as much fun. I still enjoy it, but with all that I'm already doing with classes, I didn't want to focus too much on it, so that's the main reason I've been primarily focused on Twitch recently. But that's not all that I was focusing on. There was actually a lot of YouTube recording done over the last few months, so although there's not been many uploads specific to YouTube, We've got quite a few things recorded, and starting off, uh, I'm going to list off what we have planned for, or what I have planned. I keep saying we because I have friends joining for so many of these things that I have here that I'm about to list off, so... It, it is technically me doing everything other than the recording session, though, but... It's just... It's weird saying just me, because... It's almost a group channel at this point, because of how many people partake in it. But yeah, for YouTube... First thing that I want to focus on, maybe not the first thing you'll see, but the first thing I'd like to focus on for YouTube content is a room tour. For YouTube, the first thing I'd like to do, or not necessarily the first thing I'd like to do, but the thing I would like to prioritize most at this time is a room tour. Now, I did a room tour back in September, or maybe August or something like that. And things have changed decently since then, not as much as they could have, but they've changed decently. I just want to wait a little longer on the room tour because... Room tour is coming soon, and it'll be much shorter, more abbreviated, and more focused on things people care about than the last one. Uh, but in the meantime, you can look at that one if you'd want. Uh, in the last, like, five minutes of that, I actually went over every picture and video I had of my room over, like, the course of, like, the last five or six years. So, if you want to see kind of a time-lapse of what my room has looked like so far, you can check that out. And then on to games. So, we have been recording quite a few things, me and several friends. A few of which, now that I think about it, have not actually made an appearance on the channel. So, mentioning, I'm going to be mentioning names that you've never heard of, but... I'll try to find a picture to associate with them. And this is in the order that I intend to start uploading them. Uh, one game we recorded was Fear, or First Encounter Assault Recon, uh, for the Xbox 360. Me and Ezra recorded that, and we have not progressed terribly far in it, but we did still record uh, quite a bit of footage, and I'm planning on making a video into that. That'll likely be one of, if not the, uh, next videos on the channel. There is a VR game that uh, me, Connor, and Ryan recorded back in January when they were on their winter break. It's called I Expect You to Die. It's a very unusual kind of spy game. It's very funny. It's very it's a very amusing series. It's my favorite series or piece of content that has ever been recorded or streamed or anything on this channel. And I'm very happy to finally get a chance to edit that and get that out there. 
And one of the biggest projects that's been happening behind the scenes and has not been revealed to anyone yet, not even like mods on my Discord server, is No More Heroes. This is a rather popular... I don't know if it was necessarily a popular game, but it was a Wii-exclusive M-rated game that was very bloody, very violent, and very over-sexualized. And I've been interested in seeing what exactly it is for the longest time, so... Me, Chris, and Ezra, some... Yeah, Ezra's... I mentioned that name just before, but he has not been on the channel yet, but he's a good friend of mine from uh, the university, and he'll probably be showing up on the channel quite a bit in the coming uh, months. We've beaten the game already, and we have... Uh, very, we are very interested in getting onto the sequel as soon as possible, so... Expect that to be the main YouTube series going on in the early portion of this summer. And then, uh, me, Chris, and Peng, who Peng is someone else you don't know yet, uh, someone else from the university, uh, have been recording Asura's Wrath, which... I don't even know what to say about this game, it is... It's very over the top, as flashy and colorful and as much action as possible. And that is the current plans for Twitch or for YouTube that are set in stone. And then on to Twitch. Now, this is going to be the section, just Twitch games that are only involving me. I'm not dependent on anybody else for uh, this, t this specific content. Currently, we are playing, or I am playing Legend of Dragoon. And I intend to continue that as soon as possible. Uh, not much more to say there, but I will be working on that as soon as possible. And shortly after that, if not uh, alongside it, I would like to be playing Metro 2033 Redux. Now, Metro Last Light is a game that I started uh, just to have a horror game uh, for last Halloween. And I got really involved in it, really excited about it. And then I realized that I was playing the sequel, uh, and that the prequel was already a game I owned. It was in my Steam library from like whoever, how, however many years ago. So now I'm actually going to go back and play that uh, so that I can have full context before I get much further into Metro Last Light. So I'm going to be streaming Metro 2033. Uh, beginning to end, uh, right alongside, if not just after, Legend of Dragoon, and that will be uh, immediately followed um, with me playing uh, Metro Last Light, where I left off. It will become a Twitch series and not and no longer a YouTube series. This is the big thing that's been happening behind the scenes for a little over a month now. I went through every single game that I own that I have yet to play, or if I have played it, it's less than like the first half hour. Just games that I really want to get more involved into, and I came up with a huge list of games that fit that criteria. I narrowed that list down to the games that interest me the very most at the moment. Then I made sure that they were all like critically acc acclaimed games, games that are like not just joke games like uh, Sneak King or whatever or Wii Music, just games that I'm actually going to take seriously, and they, are, they actually have like a definitive beginning and end that I intend to uh, play through. And so, I narrowed that down to a list of... Well, narrowed is one word, but 74 games. We decided to vote as a community for what games I'd be playing this summer and even beyond that point in the future uh, from that list. This wasn't just a thing where people would vote for their top game or top five games or whatever. I was asking for people to vote for like as much as half the list or more if they can. Because uh, I just wanted to get general interest. Because for this, I'm generally, I was generally looking for the kind of thought process like, if this showed up in my Twitch feed, I would be interested in joining the stream. Not as much like this is my favorite game of all time. And I made sure... For more obscure games, things like uh, Ninja Spirit and Dragon's Curse, like TurboGrafx-16 games, nobody's heard of those, and if they have, it probably isn't one of the people I was asking. Uh, and I made sure to have bios for them and discuss with each person individually about what each game was that they were unfamiliar with. So I'm really happy with how this turned out because I was really afraid this would turn into a popularity contest and just whatever game is most talked about in the media would be like the first game and then so on down the list but i feel like it really turned out 
a lot more balanced on people's interests on a gameplay standpoint and what the game has to offer within its own confinement uh, rather than what the public views it as if the public even knows what it is so I'm very happy with how that turned out and I we went through those votes I balanced it out a little bit so that it's not like an oversaturation of any particular genre and we came up with a list and I will be going right down this list uh, this is almost exactly what the top 10 were. This, these were all like within the top 14, I think. Uh, and I'll be going down this list in order on Twitch. And this is as far as solo games go. Or games that I will only be playing on my own, not with other people. Uh, and me relying on their schedule in order to find time to play it. So, the very first game I'll be streaming on Twitch, after completion of Metro Last Light, is Metal Gear Solid one on the ps1 and i still don't really know where it stands uh because i didn't include it on the list but i also have metal gear solid 2 and well i have all of metal gear solid games except for acid on the uh, psp but i'm not sure how those will all work into this for the time being i'm not considering metal gear solid 2 but there's a chance I'll do a poll afterwards of completion of Metal Gear Solid to see if people want me to move on to the sequel or continue down the list in order of votes. But for the time being, regardless of that, uh, I will be playing Banjo-Tooie, which was the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie, and it's apparently a much larger game. A lot of people don't like it as much. That's probably because it's less optimal for the speedrunning community or something like that. But generally, uh, it is quite similar as far as I can tell. Uh, but yeah, I'm just interested in getting into that. So that was actually the second highest voted. I was very surprised by that. Uh, third on the list is Metroid Fusion. Uh, just about the only game, well, there's Metroid Prime Federation Force, but otherwise the only Metroid game I have not fully completed. I got a few I got like an hour or two into it at one point but save data got corrupted and I just never managed to finish it so now I'm very excited to get into Metroid Fusion this summer fourth was Owl Boy which this is an indie game from late 2016 I believe but it's a very cool looking game uh, very uh, artistic in both the music and especially the visuals I don't know too much about what the gameplay is, but I've had it for the longest time and I'm really interested in getting into that. That is the fourth one. Fifth is The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Never played it, and I want to. And I don't know what else to say about it, everyone kind of knows what that game is. Sixth is Half-Life. I've never played either of the Half-Life games, well, mostly. I played Half-Life 2 for like five minutes to test out the Xbox original cable I have, but... I have both Half-Life and Half-Life 2 on PC, and I've never played either of those games. And so now I'm very interested in seeing what exactly makes them so popular and if they still hold up, which, for me personally, I don't really feel like I get that concerned about how things age in gaming. Uh, number seven is Conker's Bad Fur Day. This would have actually been immediately after Banjo 2, but I really wanted to space it out since those are probably going to play very similarly. Uh... I don't really know what to get what I'm getting into with Conker's Bad Fur Day. I've had a lot of people tell me uh, that it's a very adult game focused on media that I won't understand, but I don't know. I'll try it anyway. The eighth one I'll be going on to is Mega Man X, the very first one on SNES, which I'll be playing on the SNES Classic. I've only played Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge on the Game Boy, and that's my only experience with the franchise, so. This is apparently one of the best games in the franchise, so definitely a better point to uh, try out the franchise. So that's what I'm looking forward to after uh, I beat Conker's Bad Fur Day. Then number nine, uh, probably the one I was most excited about on this list is Soma. Now, I don't know a lot about this, and what I do know about it, it's not a game you should look into prior to experiencing it. Uh, it is... The next game made by the people who made Amnesia, but it is a lot less about in-the-moment uh, scares and a lot more about, well, Amnesia isn't as much either. It's more about environmental scares, but apparently there's a very in-depth and very freaky plot 
that is slowly unfolding throughout the game. And apparently it's a really long game, but it's... It's probably the horror game I have been most afraid to try ever since I found out about it. Uh, and I'm kind of afraid to try it, but it's, it's there. <laughs> uh, tenth is Medieval, which is the PS1 game that I mentioned in, not the last pickups video, but the one before it. Uh, it's a game I've been looking for for quite some time. It's some sort of action uh, platformer, sort of beat-em-up puzzle platformer, I don't know. I don't really know what to call it specifically, because it tries to blend a lot of genres, but I've heard that it does it really well, and it's a very fun and creative game, so I'm very interested in that. So those are the first ten games I plan to play after, uh, beating the already established games on Twitch. Some other games that I'm planning on fitting in there somewhere that are not necessarily a part of the poll or games that I'm really planning on committing a beginning to end playthrough of is Lone Echo. Uh, this is a VR game, a very well received VR game I don't know a lot about, but it's very sci-fi and I've been interested in it for quite some time and I'm planning on getting around to that at some point this summer. It may be on Twitch, it may just be me playing on my own offline, but it's a game I'm interested in getting around to this summer. Uh, there's also Mario Kart, <laughs> which this was kind of a weird idea I was never entirely sure of, but I'm going to give it a go, and that is every single Mario Kart in the franchise. And I'd like to go through that this summer, uh, play... I, I have a decent amount of experience with almost all of them, and at this point I do own all of them, but I would like to go through Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo and just play every single stage uh, at least once, and then Mario Kart 64 every single stage at least once, Mario Kart uh, Game Boy Advance every single stage at least once, and then so on throughout the entire franchise, including things like the mission mode in DS or battle modes in all games, except for maybe the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8, but hopefully I'll have the deluxe version on Switch by then. Uh, probably I'll hold off on battle modes until I have friends present so that we can try out all the battle modes, but I'd really like, I really think this is a fun idea to just go through everything the Mario Kart series has to offer. Now, one concern that is very obscure and I don't know if anyone really cares that much is uh, there is very difficult to unlock uh, extra stages in Mario Kart GBA, which is the entire uh, list, or it's every course available in Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo can be unlocked in Mario Kart GBA if you meet some very specific and difficult uh, criteria. I don't think I'm planning on that. It's I'd already would have played them on the Super Nintendo, and for most for the most part, I'm just planning on doing like 100cc or 150cc Grand Prix, uh, regardless of what place I get, just to go through them and have fun. So this won't be the longest commitment ever. I'm not trying to 100% these games. Just see what they have to offer and go through every stage. I just think it'll be something fun. Then there's Diddy Kong Racing, which is a game I've never known too much about, but I'm borrowing it off Connor, and I am just want to try it out at some point, just for like half an hour or an hour, and then I'm going to decide if it's a game I want to buy and own myself. So, yeah, I figured that whenever I get around to that, it'll probably be on Twitch. And the last thing I have planned to be doing on my own on Twitch right now is... It's just sad that I haven't said this, or that I've said this so many times now and it still hasn't happened, but, uh, the Banjo-Kazooie artwork for Gabe Ocarina 96. I, I, I... <laughs> oh, the backstory to this is something that only me and him know, but why not reveal it? Uh, so if you guys don't know, I made a Banjo-Kazooie artwork for, uh, Carlos Eni, or Insane in the Rain Music, like, two or three years ago. Uh, it was on his old channel that is now deleted, so you can't find the video, but I think I have a screenshot I can show, uh, or the picture he took of it when it was in his room. But I've been interested in making another one of those for myself, and I mentioned it to Gabe, whose favorite game is uh, Banjo-Kazooie, and he's been very interested in me uh, making one for him as well, and so that's always been the plan for me to make one for me and one for him, 
Except that's always been the plan for like two years now, so... Yeah, I got a bit pushed back. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to try to make exactly what I made before, or just some other Banjo-Kazooie related artwork, but I am planning on live streaming the creation of some type of Banjo-Kazooie related uh, mosaic, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, maybe I might make multiple, maybe one for- I know there's going to be at least one for me, one for Gabe, and maybe I'll make more if people want me to like, I don't know, sell one or do a giveaway on the channel, I don't know about that. I've never been particularly interested in the giveaway thing, but who knows? We'll figure it out when we get there. And then there's games on Twitch I am playing with other people. Now these ones, I can't really say anything for sure on the schedule or the time frame or even if it's necessarily set in stone because these are all dependent on other people being available at the same time I'm available so that we can both uh, collaborate and make it happen. And that is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze uh, that I'm playing with Chris. We are almost done with the game. We've probably got one, maybe two streams left. And I don't know if we're really going to go back and do too much post-game or levels we missed in the game. We'll probably just go back to complete it and... Or, we'll probably just get it to uh, the completion of the final boss credit roll and be done with the game is mo what's most likely going to happen. But... I'd still be interested in revisiting it at some point on my own, but that won't really be on Twitch, so... Eh. And once me and Chris finish uh, that, we are going to play Shovel Knight, which anybody who was listening earlier uh, was probably very upset, but I Shovel Knight not being on there, because Shovel Knight actually only lost by one point to... or by one vote to Metal Gear Solid, so... It is a very high interest game for a lot of people, and me and Chris have never played it, and we are now interested in playing it. So, whenever we finish Tropical Freeze, we're immediately going to start up with uh, Shovel Knight. Uh, we're going to be playing the Treasure Trove version on Switch. And then there's Halo 2 with John. He's busy for until at least early June, and we don't really know. We know that we want to play through the games, and at this point, I don't even know if we're going to play it on Twitch or just on our own but we're probably not going to do it on youtube because that was a lot of episodes a lot of editing to get that many episodes going at that regular of an upload and in general nobody but me and john seem to really care about that most of those episodes have like five views or less so i don't know if we're really going to commit to the entire halo series uh being on youtube in 10 minute episodes but me and John are going to be playing through uh, Halo 2, 3, 4, Reach, ODST. Maybe not all this summer, but as much of it as we can. And that will most likely either be on Twitch or offline. Some other games that uh, ranked very highly in the poll, but are no longer going to be solo games. So these are actually games I brought... Uh, I gave that list of games that... Uh, got like the top 20 places and I brought those to a lot of my friends who are available to play it in person over the summer uh, Either alternating controls or I'm playing and they're spectating in person or vice versa Something like that. Maybe even there's multiplayer. I don't think so for either of these, but uh, Me and Ryan are interested in playing Castlevania on the NES uh, so in the voting poll Castlevania NES and Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo were the two that were available and Castlevania NES uh, far and away outdid uh, Castlevania Super Nintendo's or for Super Castlevania 4 so Castlevania NES is what we're going to be giving a try I cannot promise that we are going to try to finish the game necessarily but we will give it the best effort we have it's just <laughs> Me and Ryan aren't really that good at games, and Castlevania is apparently a game that's not very friendly to people who are not good at games, so we'll do our best, but uh, don't expect us to actually finish the game. Then there is also Resident Evil 4, which is a game I've been waiting a really long time to play, uh, and that I will be playing with Ezra. So. Uh, we'll be playing the Wii version, because that's just the version that I have, and I think it would work well for the pointing controls, because I've heard that a lot of people really like that version. It's been ported to, like, 
every possible console, as far as I can tell. There's just so many ports of it, but we'll be playing the Wii version. And we'll be getting on to that as soon as me and Ezra are available to start playing it. Then this one is pretty up in the air, we're not really sure, but uh, Contra 3 on the Super Nintendo. Uh, me, Chris, Ezra, and Jeff. Or Jeff you haven't seen on the channel in a long time, not since uh, Super C or Fast Arm X, which were both like in the summer last year. Uh, but us four are all interested in Contra 3 The Alien Wars for the Super Nintendo, and this is a game that's interested us for a long time, and we're not sure how good we're going to be at it, but I don't think any of us have any experience with it, so uh, we'll just be alternating whoever <laughs> and then figure out whoever's the best at it, and we'll be trying to beat the game with that while the other two spectate or maybe itching around controllers for a while, but it's a two-player game, we'll have four people, we'll just be passing controllers all over the place. We don't know what's going to happen. Some games I'm going to be playing offline. Now this, I'll just rush through because it doesn't matter that much to you guys probably, but I figured I'd keep you updated on games I'll be playing that you will not know about because sometimes it's, it, a lot of times it's nice to play a game not feeling obligated to engage with the audience, not feeling obligated to talk and and you get to focus a lot more on what's happening in the game, on like the sound design, the visual design, the plot, uh, and you just get to sit back and relax instead of kind of be like engaged in talking. It's also much less distracting to just focus on the game instead of focus on the game and talking. So there's a few games that I'm just interested in doing like that. And so over the summer, I'll be doing Super Mario Odyssey. Now, this is a game I've been playing for months now. I've just been doing, like, a kingdom every two or three weeks or whatever, and that's about it, because I've just been so busy. So, now I'm actually going to finish the game. So, before I make any Twitch content, before I make any YouTube content, before I even get on to, like, other projects that I've been holding off on for a few months, I want to finish Super Mario Odyssey. I don't think there's much left, but for all I know, I'm, like, just starting the game but I'm like eight worlds in, I think. So yeah, I just want to finish Mario Odyssey before I get onto any other type of project on the channel. So even though I'm on summer break, you may not see anything immediately because I just want to finish Mario Odyssey because I've been enjoying it so much and playing it so infrequently. Uh, after that, I'm interested in getting through the entire God of War series. I've already played both PSP games. Uh, one of those, I don't remember which, actually twice. And now I have 1, 2, 3, Ascension, and I'm probably going to get the PS4 one sometime soon. And I'm interested in just going through that entire franchise this summer. I'll probably be doing it offline, uh, because uh, I have... Actually, all four of those are on PS3, which is incredibly difficult to work with uh, when it comes to capture cards, because you can't disable HDCP which is something I've ranted about before, so look it up if you don't know what HTCP is. Uh, then there's also the Kingdom Hearts franchise, which I've been very interested in this franchise for a long time. I've played Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS, and that's it. And now I own... I think I counted it. I own 22 Kingdom Hearts games now, including duplicates, and I've still only played one of those, so... It's about time I actually <laughs> try out the franchise. I also have, like, a Keyblade back here that... <laughs> I bought that, like, a three years, two, three years ago, and I still have only played the 3DS game in the franchise. So, it's definitely about time I see what that franchise has to offer, because I loved the 3DS game, and everyone told me that it was, like, garbage compared to just how amazing the others are. So now I'm really interested in those, particularly, uh... Uh, one, two, and Birth by Sleep, but I've also heard I've I've been talking with some people who are much more familiar with the franchise than me, and uh, it sounds like it's just best to play the PS4 version of everything. I was I wanted to play Chain of Memories on Game Boy Advance because I have it, but I think I'll be leaning towards PS4 version for every single one, in including the 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, whatever that has to offer. But that's a lot of ranting for a offline game. Uh, this is probably a game that you guys have been wondering about for a long time. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, or Doki Doki Literature Club, or whatever. So this is a series I've been doing with Guy, and 
it's been mostly fun. I've really kind of gotten bored with it, and I don't really know where he stands on it, but he's been playing it alongside me, so he's got the same amount of progress. And at this point, I think I might just play it offline. I've been considering this entire time I thought I had actually just bailed on it altogether, but uh, Chris has been hinting at a lot more going on, but now it sounds like a lot of what is happening in the game after this point is much easier to figure out uh, just using your own computer and hardware and all that rather than trying to figure out how to screen capture everything as it's happening as well as do it over a discord video call so oh at this point i think it works better for me to finish doki doki offline or on my own and then there's heavy rain which i uh, hinted about this on discord but we were starting to record that a while ago but PS3 is super difficult to record, and we just gave up, and so uh, a bunch of us have been playing that offline, and we're planning on finishing that sometime soon. We're, I don't know how if you could say we're enjoying it as much as we're making fun of what we can do in it, but it's, it's a game we're going to be finishing sometime soon. Uh, and then this one, <sighs> this is... Is a long time in the making. It, it, it's, it's so weird to say it at this point, but this summer I want to replay the Metroid Prime trilogy, which two of those are my two favorite games of all time, and I've played a lot of games. It's just I haven't played them in a very long time. I'm I'm not the kind of person that replays games often. I almost never replay games. Like, even things like Super Mario 64 or Ocarina of Time. I just don't really replay games ever. Because I always move on to the next game. And I always feel like I'm missing out on a new experience by going back to an old one. And I think it's about time I finally replay the Metroid Prime trilogy. Uh, this is something I've been meaning to do for years now. I just have never felt up to the task because I've just had so much going on but this summer I really want to uh, replay the Metroid Prime trilogy it's been long enough to the point where I can it's going to be almost a new experience for me again because it's been so long since I played these and I am very excited to play the Metroid Prime trilogy and I'll be doing this offline because so much of it is about getting engrossed in the world and getting involved with the environment and you just can't do that as well, if really at all, on uh, Twitch or YouTube. It's just so much more of a personal experience that I'd like to have with these games. So, that'll be offline. And then we have several to-be-determined projects. These are ones that have basically been mentioned once or twice between me and maybe somebody else. And really, we don't know if anything's going to come of these plans at all. But... Uh, Rare Replay with John. We got a decent amount of progress on that. We got up to the X, the first game on the Xbox, and then we never uh, looked through the rest of the list, but we are going to do that soon, I hope. I don't know. Uh, the Perfect Dark series with Brendan. Now, I have all three games in the Perfect Dark series at this point, and I don't really know much about any of them, so me and Brendan are interested in getting into them, because he really likes the Nintendo 64 one. So... I'm interested in getting into the entire trilogy with him. Uh, then there is Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader. Or is it Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2? A Star Wars game, but uh, basically me, Chris, and Connor each had uh, very impactful experiences when we were younger. We All three of us individually uh, had the Nintendo 64 uh, first game in the series, and we all really liked it and really played it a lot and it's a very important game to us, but none of us have tried uh, the second or third game in the series, so I propose that we try out the second game in the series, and all three of us are very interested in it. It's going to be a very kind of nostalgic and very fun thing for us to try out. Uh, the entire Sly Cooper series, uh, at the very least the first three games, because I do have the fourth one on Vita, so I don't really know how well that works with someone else joining, but the entire Sly Cooper series, uh, I've been interested in it for a while, and Chris K is as well, so we're looking into playing that. Uh, 
Gunstar Heroes. This was mentioned alongside uh, Contra 3. Contra 3 is a bit more of interest at this time for us, but uh, Gunstar Heroes is another game that me, Chris, Ezra, and Jeff are interested in playing and swapping out because two people can play at a time. Me and Tony have been talking about this one for a while, and that is the Max Payne trilogy. I now own the entire trilogy. I think I've mentioned this uh, in the pickup video where I got two and three. And me and Tony have been interested in looking into them. I don't know if it's necessarily something of interest to him or if he just said yes because I mentioned it. <laughs> but yeah, the Max Payne trilogy. Me and Tony are looking into that one. Uh, Tomb Raider on the PS1. Me and Chris tried to play this a little bit near the end of that Bomberman Hero stream and we never really got past like sort of part of the intro cinematic so since then i found out that there's tomb raider anniversary which tomb raider legends on the ps2 game or xbox gamecube era at least i don't know which platforms it was on other than ps2 but they took the engine from that game and remade the first game so that would be a f fun and better way to play it, but I already own the PS1 version, so me and Chris are interested in trying out the PS1 version and seeing if it's so dated that we want to get the new version. But we're looking into Tomb Raider 1, like the very first one. And then uh, me and Chris are also interested in Devil May Cry, which I don't know a whole lot about it other than its links to Resident Evil in development. And I have 1 and 3 on the PS2, so we're interested in playing at least the first one and then moving on to the third, because apparently people hate the second one for some reason. I don't know. Uh, then there's Undertale Genocide. Me and Chris have both played Undertale Pacifist. I don't know about true pacifist, but we both did one playthrough not killing anything, and neither of us know anything about the genocide run, so we were we figured why not just do the genocide run together, so... We're looking into that, but that one definitely will not be on Twitch. Uh, it'll probably be offline. It. What do you keep buzzing about? It'll probably be offline, but most likely it'll be a YouTube series if we play it, because uh, we're going to want to finish the entirety of it before any uploads happen, because any spoilers are going to be very devastating for that project. And the very last thing on here is... I am a part of a Let's Play channel or a Let's Play series on another channel. Now the series has not started uploading, and I, at this point in time, I'm not uh, able to say what the game is or who took part in it or what channel it's on. But I am in a Let's Play series on another channel coming soon, so you'll hear more details about that on Twitter or Discord whenever that comes out. So, yeah. Oh, that is, uh, summer. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Here's the too long didn't read because this is going to be like a half hour plus video, maybe 40 minute video. I don't know about that. Uh, but yeah, this is generally what was talked about. And so uh, I hope you guys are interested in some of these. I can't give dates for anything because it's more the order I'm focused on than... Uh, the dates that they come out and yeah that's about what I have planned uh, there might be some other VR stuff that I throw in there every now and then because I have a lot of games I still need to try on that but that is everything I have planned for this summer at this point in time there's a bit more to that list that has been revealed on discord of the twitch games and the votes from that but yeah I'll just be going through those and figuring out the games that I mentioned near the end. So, I hope you guys are excited for some of this. I know that was a lot of information to take in. I'm not even sure what I said at this point, but I'm very happy that summer break has started. Uh, you'll be seeing uploads by the end of the month or streams by the end of the month. I'll be dedicating as much time as possible to Legend of Dragoon for a while, and, but before I do anything else uh, for content creation, I am going to finish Super Mario Odyssey. That is summer plans. Wow. That was so many things. Uh, I hope you guys are on board with whatever we're doing, and there's a lot planned, but I know it'll be fun. And I'm very excited for all of these because it's been so what. It's so long since I've been able to dedicate a ton of time to gaming, and this summer, it's going to happen. So, yeah. 
Look forward to everything mentioned. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.